Hello friends. So we are just at the end or the last week of uh, this month July and shall be stepping into the month of August. And I'm sure you all wanted to know, wants to know that what is the following month August is going to bring for each Lagna and each Rashi. But before I proceed, let us understand the uh, the planetary position for the coming month. As far as transits are concerned, I see the transit is Sun on the 17th of August is getting into the sign of Leo. Till then it shall be the sign, the previous sign. Mars in Aries with Rahu still having the Angara Kyo going on till the 10th of August. And I have just made a previous video mentioning to you that from the 24th of July to the 7th of uh, August, Mars and uh, Rahu are going to be in close conjunction, which means less than five degrees. And on the 1st of August, it's going to be in one aligned degree. You must have seen eruptions, volcanoes, earthquakes, agitations, uh, accidents happening. And this is what I predicted in my last video as well. Anyway, Venus shall be in Cancer till the, till the, till the 7th of August, after which it will move and it will uh, be in the sign of Leo. It will have a conjunction with Sun after Sun moves into this uh, sign on the 17th. Now, more interestingly, we have to see that the planet Sun till the 17th of August is having aspect of three evil planets Saturn from Capricorn, Rahu and Mangal all looking at the sign of Cancer water based sign. So I said it's going to be flooding, heavy rains, uh, accidents uh, pertaining to water uh, maybe one of the dam may not be able to take that uh, uh, that so much of load it may crack it may and not only in India I'm talking globally there are two planets going retrograde on the 29th it's going to be Jupiter Saturn is already moving uh, is going retrograde so when Jupiter also will go retrograde scenes are going to be even more <clears throat> problematic Jupiter going retrograde, I see banking sector getting into a lot of trouble. Share market in trouble. So all these situation, planetary position is trying to tell us or give us a glimpse of what is going to take place for each Lagna and each Rashi for the coming month, August 20. Two, two, two. So let's start with the first sign, the first Lagna, Aries. So friends, the first uh, Lagna or Rashi is Aries. Now for Aries, Sun is getting into the uh, fifth house. And from fifth house, it is looking at the eleventh house. At the same time, Angarak Yog is forming in, in your own sign in the first house from where the house it is getting, uh, house it will look and affect is the 7th and the 8th house. Now, having this condition tells me new responsibilities will come at workplace. Also, if you are unemployed, new opportunities will come your way. You may get uh, maybe some proposals for job. Uh, health related problems could trouble you. So you have to be a little careful because 8th house also is playing a role over here. This period may also prove <clears throat> to be good for those who are employed in MNC, multinational companies. So you will get a good uh, chance or if you are any way related with, with any type of dealing in overseas. Uh, <clears throat> the second half of the month, that means when sun will actually on the 17th will go into the um, uh, sign of uh, Leo. 
I see there is strong possibility that if you are looking for new opportunities or switch over the job, then the possibility is even more higher. Income will increase for people who are salaried. Those who are into their own business will experience very profitable time. However, do not borrow or do not lend money to anyone because that money may get stuck or if you have taken the money, you will not be able to repay back uh, quite soon. The month of August can also be a bit, bit uh, challenging from health point of view. I've already mentioned that. So take care of your health as well. Next sign is Taurus. Now for Taurus, Sun is getting into your fourth house. From fourth, it is looking at the tenth house. Angarak Yog is in the twelfth house. From twelfth, it is affecting your sixth and the seventh house. Now keeping this in mind, I see the month of August will give you uh, likely to give you a positive result. Those who are uh, in search of job or looking for better placement uh, will meet uh, opportunities. Those who are associated with multinational companies will get success. Also new avenues, uh, avenues for business or new startup will uh, open up for you. Mercury will also transit into the fourth house may enable you to uh, have a peaceful atmosphere at, uh, at home. Maybe uh, you may sign a deal or, or a contract with some foreign company. Oversee business if you are into import, export or any way connected to a uh, foreign country or foreign business. It's a very good time. If you are a student, uh, if you are studying and then in field of education, it's a you will perform quite well. You need to be a little careful about your mother's health. Fourth house talks about mother's health. You may also face uh, some con some uh, issues with your health mental stress may come your way and that will keep you troubled remain calm do some meditation forget about it don't carry any baggages life will go on nothing to worry next is Gemini now for Gemini it is in the third house August <clears throat> from third it is looking at the ninth house your luck Angarak Yoga has been formed into the 11th and from 11th it is looking at your 5th and the 6th house. Many of your challenges in life will ease especially at workplace. In the second half of the month when sun will transit into the sign of Leo on the 17th chances of increment, promotion, incentives so on. There's a possibility of uh, more income at your workplace Monetary benefit can be uh, very well estimated or I would say if you are into a business then your profit will increase. Your income is also uh, <clears throat> likely to get increased due to the presence of Sun and Venus in your second house that is the Dhan Bhav. Chances are of financial gain from ancestral property because both the planets are going to look at the 8th house which talks about ancestral property. So far as business is concerned, uh, financial position will be very strong. You will have enough money and enough funds to put into your business. Students, yes, may, fail, uh, may face some challenges. They may not have their uh, concentration because Ketu in the 5th will trouble you. You may also come, come across several problems in your romantic life. So people who are into romantic, you will have some problem. You will feel a little de detached. Ketu is a planet of detachments. You should have control over your language also. Uh, because maybe uh, if you don't behave nicely with your uh, girlfriend or a boyfriend, then you know what happens. <clears throat> you will face problem as far as health is concerned, keep a check on your health also. Next is Cancer. For the sign of Cancer, Sun is going to enter into your second house and it's going to look at the eighth house. So for the month of August, even the Angarak Yoga is in your tenth house, looking at your fourth house and fifth house. So August month can show you, the first half of the month will show you positive result. Your seniors, your boss, your colleagues, uh, I see that they will be very supportive. They will appreciate your work. You may also get success uh, if you 
or the income would be good especially if you are uh, attached to uh, some artistic or creativity if that is your profession as well you may also get help from an unknown person unknown source uh, from where money can come income can, can come you can be successful in achieving good results in the field of education and research i'm talking about the 8th house again negative behavior will all of a sudden will crop up in your dealings because of the conjunction of mars and rahu in your 10th house that that you have to take care income from ancestral property can also be clearly seen over here tension may also prevail uh, because ill health of some senior or elderly person at your home or in the family next is leo for leo sun is getting into the lagna on the 17th of august from where it is looking at the 7th house angara kyo is formed in your house of luck 9th house looking at the 3rd house and the 4th house so this month is going to be favorable i would say different areas of your life everywhere i see positivity later half that is after 17th of august maybe if you are associated if you are dealing you will meet success if you are dealing with a foreign company or if you are looking for a job overseas if you are if you have intention of flying to the other country also i see those who are associated with import export uh, will do very favorable uh, will do very uh, good income it's a favorable time people who are who owns a business their own business will have huge profit during this time at the beginning of the month you may face certain uh, issues regarding your romantic partner and even your in your married married life as well career profession family uh, all are good comfortable in the later half of the month there is going to be a conjunction of sun with mercury that will be in your first house you can be successful in delivering the best in the field of education or whichever field you are you will do very well your confidence level will be very high and you are likely to be mentally very strong and you will be able to face uh, any challenges there are no challenges as such but still next sign is virgo now for virgo we have to understand that sun is getting into your 12th house looking at the 6th house and angara yoga has is formed into 8th house from 8 it is looking at the second house and your third house see you will experience pulls and pushes in different walk of life those who are associated with foreign trades can make good business good uh, opportunity good business good income those who are associated with foreign trading import export will have a good business that time those who are in search of job it's a very favorable time for them people who are salaried they are working will get promotion if they uh, if they are due for a promotion they will get it those who are working in the field of finance may have also have a profitable time those who are attached with share market is also will make some income though share market is not doing quite well uh, or will not do because of some yogas right now you may have monetary gains all of a sudden because 8th house talks about sudden income un un uh, money coming your way but because of your talk your harsh word straight forwardness blunt uh, talks you will spoil relationship with many people take care of that there is a possibility of inflow of money from overseas as well also if your money has got stuck somewhere you are giving it to someone and the person was not returning the money will come your way there is there you will experience some uh, issues 
pertaining to your romantic partner other areas of your life also is going to be a little turbulent i would advise you to take care of your health eight thousand is about health injuries accidents and so on there's a possibility of differences with your love partner and you have to be very careful next sign is libra for libra sun is entering into your 11th house which is a very good position looking at the 5th house angarak yog also is forming in your 7th house looking at your lagna and second house now for the month of august i see that you will come across several challenges in your career but still you will do so well in your profession that you will fight and you will come back into the same position you may also achieve good results if you are a businessman guess new new opportunities uh, if you are looking for it will fall in your lap rahu and mars both in the 7th may lead to a <clears throat> possibility that you will have a very impulsive behavior <coughs> everything like you know you want to do it in action because rahu also is looking at your lagna and mars also is looking at your uh, at your uh, lagna and the seventh uh, to the second house as well you may remain worried about domestic life throughout this period month of august <clears throat> arguments second house is coming to play now arguments dispute conflict in families will keep you very upset you have to be very careful with your health as well however your love life education finances will remain quite stable if you can have a little control over your speech words language many problems will automatically get solved but if you are impulsive and you are too harsh with your words then you will lose many opportunities so you just have to be very patient next sign is scorpio for scorpio sun will come into your 10th house good position looking at the 4th house angarak yog is into your 6th house looking at the 12th house it is looking at the 1st house also now remember rahu mangal both being an evil planet i have always said evil planet in the 3rd 6th and 11th gives you good opportunity but its position as angarak yog in the 6th also uh, is not little bit of health issues can be given but the month is likely to be very bright for you happiness will be there in family comfort would be there but you are likely to as i said you are likely to get into quarrel with someone uh, at your workplace and that will become a, a, a issue control over your language while discussing with your boss senior colleagues subordinates and so on the last 15 days of the month or i would say 13 days because 17th sun is going to move over there those who are associated with government job you may get uh, appreciation increment and maybe a promotion also the period is seems to be very good for you very favorable for people who are employed in uh, private sector and will get promoted also you may get back your long stuck money with someone later half of the month those who are associated uh, with business so you have your own business you will see some profit coming your way uh <clears throat> i would suggest you uh, not to lend money or borrow money again talking about the 6th house from anyone because this may put you into deep trouble so don't uh, give money to anyone don't take money from anyone in the second half of the month you may uh, have some health issue so after the 17th of uh, august take care of your health next sign is sagittarius for sagittarius sun is getting into your 9th house 
of luck looking at the third house angara yog is forming in your fifth house looking at the 11th and the 12th for sagittarius as you know this month is going to have a will be very thriving as far as career is concerned it's a good good month for you later half of the month after 17th i would say you will get many opportunities those who are, who are unemployed and looking for job will definitely find one those who are already employed may look may get a promotion if it is due during this period uh if you take proper steps your career can take a boom <clears throat> believe me it's a very good time for you those who are unemployed and for a very long time all of a sudden maybe you will meet someone and new opportunities of jobs will open for you financial gains can be seen which can come all of a sudden where you have never expected it to come from you will get that also if you have given money to someone maybe your friend relative whoever it is and the money was stuck for a very long time the payment can come your way the money will come your way also you may get some profit if some ancestral property was in dispute or some from there also i see some income or some money coming to you education i'm talking about a student may could be a, could be a little challenging for students you will have to put extra efforts and only then you can get some uh, benefit out of this so if you don't put efforts i'm talking to students then uh, <clears throat> the results could be bad <coughs> some family problem here and there will keep you a little stressed otherwise all is well health is average capricorn now capricorn sun is getting into your 8th house and looking at the second house angara kyo is formed in your fourth house from where it is affecting your 10th house and 11th house now month is going to be fruitful it's good saturn and jupiter may bring some changes in your life both are getting retrograde saturn is already retrograde on 29th uh, jupiter is getting retrograde mars and rahu again the conjunction angara yog in your 10th uh sorry uh affecting your 10th may bring like you know impulsiveness aggression anger a behavior which may impact your career negatively you have to take charge of this your anger may aggravate so much okay that things may go out of uh, hand so if you don't control it you may get into some controversy which will <clears throat> put you into deep trouble your laziness you know not taking initiative being very lazy you have to overpower with that you have to go out unless you do that success is not coming your way and if you do it definitely success is there waiting for you during this month also you are likely to have good opportunities coming your way you may uh, you may come across ups and downs because of uh, ketu okay in the house of karma so that is fine in this period <clears throat> favorable result for people who are into romantic relationship good time for them at the same time you will remain physically and mentally quite fit Uh, because it's a strong position of mercury so everything is good coming to aquarius now aquarius will have sun into the 7th house looking at your lagna angara yog is forming in your 3rd house very good position looking at the 9th and the 10th house here the problem with you could be you will feel stuck you will feel stuck that you know nothing is going in and why there is so much of stagnation in life so you are advised to be careful from career point of view starting a new work or new job or new venture should be avoided at this time and focus on whatever you are doing currently however mars will give you courage 
it will give you uh, uh, you know enough courage energy stamina to get rid of all these challenges and actually these are illusions you are actually not stuck in life but you will have that feeling that you have got stagnant do not lose your temper because <clears throat> as i said angarak yog angarak uh, that's fire if you lose your temper you may face lot of obstacles and you know when you you lose your energy on something which is not uh, fruitful then you are wasting your energy don't do that you will get good res uh, good results otherwise in all aspect finance career everything the only thing is first of all don't feel you are stuck don't feel you are stagnant don't lose your temper don't use wrong words or language uh <clears throat> see conjunction of mercury and sun also this month is going to give you a very successful time you may get money all of a sudden from a very hidden sources you never expected it will come from there also possibility of getting profit uh from a unknown source in the second half of the month there is a possibility of getting uh or you are likely to have full support of your lover whomever you love in your life he will be very supportive at the same time there is a possibility that you may have a a, a good coordination good cooperation with your some elder person in your family now let's talk about the last sign pisces where sun is getting into the 6th house i always said 6th house sun gives you good uh results it is looking at your 12th house angarak yog is now in the second house from second house it is looking at your 8th house and the 9th house this seems to be a very good time for business people you will do very well in addition there is a possibility that your business profit income your business will generate lot of income lot of profitability is there also if you are planning to start a new business or you want to expand your business this is a very good time those who are associated with job that means your salaried people you may have favorable time there will be new opportunities as far as jobs are concerned so it's a good time if you want to switch over the job also and you will remain in a very healthy state of mind your love life will also remain very pleasant mars and rahu formation conjunction of angarak yog in your second house may have some impact on your extended family second house health wise yes 8th house is there so you need to be careful about health maybe some old disease will again uh, come back and create some problem for you you are advised to keep yourself very disciplined with your eating habits so friends this was all about all the 12 laganas all the 12 rashis for the month of august let's pray that till the angara yoga is there and then again the transits which are happening in the near future also let us all pray that god keeps a blessing hand on us and ask for mercy ask for forgiveness there is always a reason why the universe is trying to have a transformation only people who understand this will understand why it's happening anyway take care of yourself see you